What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Apple with the ticker symbol AAPL. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, it does not constitute any financial advice. I will first cover what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. As you can see on Apple, it looks like it's creating some type of triple top. Put a horizontal line or trend line right here to show you guys. You see that this was the prior high. We got rejected from here back on December 16th and then now we got rejected again back here on the 28th of December. However, this rejection looks weaker than the prior one so I don't think this will be the top for Apple. It, it is a possibility but as of now it doesn't look like it because you can see the, the buying pressure that was coming in. That's a lot of buyers and I think they want to probably push up the market one more time before reversing. You see that this would be also the first breakout side of this micro channel working up. So I expect a retest of these highs and that would give Apple a new all time high. You can see that my prior analysis for Apple was back on December 19th I believe and then the following week was pretty much bullish price action we did we did get that bounce from the EMA and the support side of the channel working higher you can see that this is the channel working higher you can go and adjust this a little better you can see that every time we come to the lower side of the channel we get a bounce and every time we go to the upper side we find resistance except we only been to the upper side one time but still this channel is is valid it's in play and now we're just um, kind of like creating some type of wedge formation right here so we could be doing something like this before we get a breakout or we could just get that breakout right away and then reverse I think either way I think we can get a new all-time high even if we do get a breakout side of this channel because it, it will be the first breakout side of this channel and normally we get a retest of the prior extreme in a downtrend or uptrend so this is an uptrend if we get a breakout side over here then I expect a run up to retest the prior high or make a new all-time high I think we'll get the new all-time high. I think there's a lot of people trying to pick the top over here. And they're going to get stopped out. So I'm expecting Apple to reach higher prices. And my target hasn't changed at all. I think we're going to hit this measured move right here. If I just zoom out on the chart. This looks like one large leg that Apple created. And then ever since then, it's been trying to hit this second target. Because the market moves in twos. If I just put that right there. And if I look at the target that Apple is trying to reach, looks like it's trying to hit that 186, 187 level. So that's my target for Apple. And probably when it, went, probably when it breaks outside of this channel, I think we're going to run up to all time high and hit that 186, 187 level. So that's my analysis. Um, there is a very bearish pattern in play because it's a triple top. However, it looks like it's kind of weak and the uptrend is still running uh, higher and the price bars are still inside of it. So the bulls are still in control as of right now. If we start seeing a lot of selling pressure and we just reach back to like the 160, 150 level, then I'll be changing my mind. But as of right now, I think we're just gonna get a small breakout side, maybe back down to the 170 level and then get a run up from there to the all time high and reach the 186 level. For that's, so that's what I see playing out right now. But it could change at any moment, and then I'll have to reanalyze what the price is trying to do. But as of right now, I'm sticking with that. If I zoom on the chart, I'm going to show you guys the bigger pattern in play. Let's go and do a channel. And if I just connect the swings right here, and I drag it up, you can see that every time Apple came to the lower side, the support side of the channel, it was a buying opportunity. And the midline, which is this dash line, was acting as resistance or support if prices break through it and come back to retest it on the opposite side, like we did over here. So, it looks like Apple is running out of places to run because you see that we're very close to the bigger uptrend channel, which is right here. So, you can see we got that rejection back here in December 13th, and now it looks like Apple is in the upper bounds of this channel and normally when we are at the upper side of the, res the the channel the big sun the big resistance side then we usually get a run down to the lower side. 
So eventually, I think once Apple makes that push up to the 182 or 186, 187 level, after we get a break outside this channel, I think we're going to see a bigger correction in play, maybe something like this. So that's what I see playing out. I don't know if we'll probably run back all the way to the lower side of this channel. But I think we're going to see a bigger correction that we have been seeing lately. Maybe like a 20% drop. And that's all I have on the daily chart. So as of now, it looks pretty bullish. Not really bullish, but I think we're still, um, I think the buyers are still in control. I think they're going to break outside of this channel and then make a move to new high to the 86 or 87 dollar level. And then we'll see the bigger correction play. Uh, for the bears, there's a triple top in play and but I think the prices are still working up and gonna work through the sell orders and eventually they're gonna break through it and then um, reach the measured move I have in play. So for the bears, we would need to see a break outside this channel and then some type of downtrend form without looking back. So that's the bearish thing playing out. But as right now, it's too early to call if that's gonna happen and I don't think it will. I think we want to run up one more time before seeing the bigger correction play out. So that's everything I have on the daily chart. Let's finish this up on the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart for Apple and it shows all the price action since March of 2020. You can see that the EMA is acting as support and prices are having a hard time getting below it. But every time we get far away from the EMA, like here, 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 and this one looks pretty similar to all the previous pattern because we're getting far away from the EMA and we haven't retested it in a while, we're going to see that pullback. So you can see that this week was a tail bar. It kind of like, looks like a lower high. Let me erase that drawing. You can see that price is traded all the way up here, but then the sellers came in and dropped it lower and the bar closed on its near low. So it looks like a lower high, but as of right now, I think it could be a trap uh, for people trying to pick tops and we might see a, another push higher. But eventually, I think we're going to get that bigger correction in play because you can see that this would be the channel working up. And we're right at the upper side of the channel. And just like over here, we are at the upside of the channel. Price is slowly retraced back to the support side of the channel. So we're at the resistance side. So I think we're going to get that one more push up. And then we're going to see that bigger correction to the resistance side. I think we're going to come back to probably the 150 level. And that would make sense because if we do reverse from right 186 level, 187 level, that would be... Uh, I think about a 17 to 20 percent drop and which is normal that's a that's an okay correction you can see that let's look at this correction real quick this is about a this was about a sa uh, same retracement a 19 to 20 percent drop so it's not anything crazy i still think this channel is going to run up much higher but as of right now i'm expecting a little push up and then a bigger correction in play Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.